Hey, welcome back to your Lake Fort Guide. Welcome back to the Guides Network. Kind of an odd episode today because we're going to do something totally different. We are in the Smash Factory. Is that what it is? You can call it that, yeah. The Smash Factory. Right here with Smash Tech. Yeah, don't look around too much. It's a mess. We just got through with a big order and stuff is everywhere. I know. Uh, hey, so. A mess is good because that means you're busy. Exactly. You ain't got time to clean stuff up, so you just keep working. Ain't nobody got time for that. Are you going to teach them how to make some plastics today? Yeah, we'll pour, pour a couple of swimming. All right, so today's episode is going to be how to make plastics. This guy right here. This is my guy right here. Say hi to the people, Stan. <laughs> Say hi. hi. How you doing? This is actually the man behind the real magic. We won't tell Heath, but this is the real master right here. That's right. <laughs> Heath designs them, but he makes them, don't you, buddy? That's right. That's right. That's Mr. Stan Smith. To his exact specification. <laughs> See, he said it right there. there he He's over here glaring at us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't look around the shop too much. If it's they a mess. Don't, they don't. If they don't meet his specifications, they don't go out. Yeah. Mm. So he makes a lot. So that way he can put them in his boat. He makes yeah. a lot of mistakes. Those yeah. are called Stanley baits. Makes yeah. a lot. I get those too. So <laughs> keep making those mistakes. So like I said, every time I go to every time I go to work and come back, there's some weird color hanging up. Yeah. That, that we don't you know that we don't sell. Yeah. So that's right. Mm-hmm. Well, Stan, we appreciate you, brother. Hey, my pleasure. Y'all give Stan a shout out in the comments. Easy. Keep using them. We'll make more. That's right, right, brother. Well, let's uh, let's get this thing started. I mean, just just break it down. Let's start from the beginning. Show us how to get this thing done. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna pour a light hitch uh, headhunter weedless. So, I said three color bait. I said you got to pour your belly color first, then your accent color, then your back color. I said we're doing this the old fashioned way with the old Pyrex cups. Uh, I said these molds I made out of silicone. You know, made the master out of clay, carved it, all that good stuff. Like I said, when we're running big runs, I get to play with all this stuff over here. So, so to start to get the mold made, you hand carved it out of clay. Yeah, hand carved the, the hand mold of the master out of clay, then make a mold of that, and then make another master out of that. You know, make make some baits out of that to say, you know, test the swim, tweak everything after that, make another mold. So I've got like a bunch. So of that's more, a process. So you built this thing by hand from yeah, the from ground scratch. up. Yeah. Like I said, so like I said, this is just a few molds. Like I said, I've got molds everywhere. Uh, but for today's purposes and time yeah. constraints, we're going to do just a little batch. Like I said, big batches, we crank up all this contraption over here and, like I said, get it really going. Get it really going. Like I said, this is how it all started, basically. If somebody wanted to do this in their garage, kind of as a one-man deal or whatever, they could just, there's different molds they could buy, there's different swimming yeah, molds they could buy. Yeah, there's lots of commercial molds. You can yeah. just over-the-counter order stuff. Uh, lots of different companies yeah. make them. Uh, cool. If you're, a little warning, if you're going to do it to save money on making your own baits, uh, don't do it because <laughs> you're going to end up spending way more money on. It's more about the passion and the yeah, customization, it's, it's, and you it's building more about yourself. Enjoying yeah. doing it because, like I said, if you're sitting there thinking, "Well, I'm going to make my own baits, I'm going to save money," well, truth be told, by the time you spend all your time doing this, you'd be better off, you know, making minimum wage somewhere than, you know, trying to do it yourself. You know, like I said, <laughs> right, you've right, got right. to basically be able to do it in a, a bigger scale. Like I said, this scale. and you know, microwaves are not going to. You're not gonna be able to make enough baits to, to sure. make it worthwhile. So like sure, that's sure. why this whole craziness. Yes, yeah. we got a whole bunch of craziness yeah, going so. on, but that's the mad mad science production. But anyway, like I said, uh, your belly color is gonna go in first. And different molds, I'll I'll stop it at different spots, like this one. I've got a spot that I stop it at, a little bit different than I do like the convict and stuff. And this one, I actually tilt the mold a little, and it helps it flow into the fins. It makes everything kind of work a little better like I said this is just a little small cup so I'm not gonna make a whole lot of swim baits this is just basically showing y'all how a swim bait is made 
so we might have enough for one more. So how do we? Uh, so so that's that's Plastisol. That is Plastisol. Like so there's lots of different brands. Uh, like I said, we get ours made by a company, and they send it to us in 55 gallon drums. And then how do you? Because it comes clear. So how do you add the yeah. color? You basically have several different kinds of colorants. You have powder colorants. You have uh, liquid colorants. You have glitter. So there's tons of different ways that you can add the colors. Like I said, doing it this way is a constant juggle right. with microwaves because you got to keep everything hot you got to yeah you know if you don't do it at a certain temperature do it too early the colors will mix together do it too late they won't bond together so it's a big timing deal so you check checking temp yeah basically you check what's your what's your target temp you here? want it you want it to be around 350 360. all right 350 to 360. I'm gonna bump it just a touch more. How do you know when this in here is right? Uh, basically, from doing a lot, you. I hate to tell people how I like do it because you can get burnt that way. But uh, I tell oh, you, you kind of you kind of just learn by. We assume no responsibility yeah. for any personal injuries occurred exactly during bait making processes. Says, Wear two gloves. I'm, I'm wearing one. Yeah. He's been doing this for a long, long, long time. I never, I never really used his hand other than when I was holding the molds a while ago. But yes, this stuff, guys, this stuff will absolutely scorch you. It will burn you yeah, to the and, bone. And if it gets on you, it does not come off. You cannot just yeah, pull you can't it off. wipe it off. Anymore. When you pull it off, skin comes with it. It'll burn you bad. All right, then we had our accent color. That's our little blue stripe down the middle of the light hitch. Mm -hmm. And that is a fine process there. Like I said, you've got to have a fairly steady hand. Mm -hmm. Pour it nice and even. So now we're letting that middle layer kind of cool off. Yeah, you gotta let the middle layer cool, like I said. If you, if you do it too early, it just blends together. If you do any of these too early, like I said, you'll just, your your middle color will just wash out and you won't be able to see it. And the belly color will come up actually to the top. So, like I said, it's not, you know, a lot of people think it's just, you know, pouring plastic in a mold. <laughs> a little different. There's, there's more to it. And like I said, you know, people wonder why these Is baits. These baits cost money. Yes. Well, you know, this is just four baits. And mm -hmm. like I said, however long this video is going to take is how long it takes just to make four baits. And that's so. the raw version, the unedited, which will be longer than the final video yeah. that comes out. Yeah. No, they're definitely uh, labor intensive, but they're, that's you know, that's why hand pours are yeah. they're really good baits because you can trick them out, you can customize yeah. them, and do whatever you want you know, to color wise. After you do this, you've still got to, you know, you still got to eye them. If you've got a cure, you've got to eye them, you've got to package them. So, that's a, there's a ton of processes mm -hmm. besides just this part. All right. What uh, what can you tell a beginner to to know when the, when the layers are ready? Is there any way you basically you want it to still be hot enough where the plastic is kind of moving, but uh, you want it to be kind of a gelatin. Yeah, you want it to still be in a gel state, the bottom layer, but it will get kind of a a skin on top. where it'll it'll keep from mixing up too bad I was pretty close I <laughs> hadn't done a small batch in a while you got a little bit of experience doing this a little bit well, very cool so that's kind of it now it's just got to cool yeah and now like I said when you've got these moles lined up then you've got another several minutes before they're cool enough where you can take them out of the mold so that just adds to the time. To the time. So time, time, time. So like I said, their hand pours are a very time-consuming process. They're not, you know, like a lot of these, you know, baits you can get are that are injection baits. Injection molds, machine molds. Shoot molds. them in there. You know, they're made in a big factory. Yeah. Shoot them in there. They've got liquid. You know, they've actually got liquid running through their molds to cool the molds, and the baits cool a lot faster. You know, stuff like this is an actual hand pour. It's 
Yeah. It's a ton more. You guys may have seen a video a long time ago that I did where uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, they were pouring them in those those big machines. Those are injection molds. Mix it in a big barrel, it shoots it into these, it injects them into these molds, and it shoots it out 20, 30 baits at a time. It's a much, much more time efficient process than a hand pour. But that's why even like Berkeley has a hand pour line and all that, and it, it, it costs a lot more than their regular baits because of the same reason. Yeah, anytime you get into, you know, an actual handmade, custom made bait, like I said, you're, you're going to end up paying more because it just basically it comes at a time, yep. you know, the time it takes to make the bait. Well, usually one of the, the, the big features that I like about them is uh, they're soft and the action is always better, it seems like, on hand pours than anything else because, and that's why people pay more for them. You can customize the colors any way you want to, and on top of that, the action is usually better because of the, the hand pour process and the, the way you can adjust the plastic and how soft or hard it is. All right, brother, they have cooled down. What is our next step in the process? They've cooled just enough to be able to get them out. Right. Like I said, in this mold, you got to be real careful because, like I said, there's lots of little details in them. Yeah, because you molded scales into these. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, they've actually got scales. So, and the you tail can. is shaped really different. Yes, it is. So uh, You can snag them and tear them. Yeah. Basically. That's the old hook slot. Like I said, he's still real hot. Like I said, basically, you can see all the, the undercut scales in there. Mm-hmm. Yes, and indeed. Like I said, see the line still defined on the three colors. So basically, what I like to do, just to kind of speed up the process, I'll dump them in a big tub of water. Right now, the water needs changed because we just ran a bunch of baits. It's got some plastic in it, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of nasty. But uh, and for the record, this color that he's pulling out, this color that he just poured right now, it's the color. That's light hitch, right? Mm -hmm. That is hands down, right there. The best big swim bait color, in my opinion. Is that your best seller? Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, especially since uh, since you and Andrew did that, that little <laughs> deal, uh, we might think, have caught a couple fish on camera. And you know, and that that whole deal, you know, when when I started working with with you and Andrew, and, yeah, that was the first day we met. Was the day we went and shot that. And some of the guys, like I said, uh, that was. Well, I'll put it this way: when any Lake Fork guys. Uh, you'll call me and want swim baits. This is the color they want. Light hitch. So it's 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 a staple. Like I said, yeah, there there are no light hitch in Texas. There are no hitch in Texas. But my like I said, my favorite colors to throw are light hitch and regular hitch mm -hmm. because it kind of covers both worlds. It does. It's a very good versatile color, and it dang sure gets bit. And if you don't believe us, look right up here, look right up in that area right there. And I'll link you a video if you're watching this on YouTube where you can go watch me and a uh, fellow guide buddy of mine named Andrew Grills, and we smacked them on that light hitch. That was the convict before this bait was around. Yeah, this this bait just came out last spring. Yeah, this this past spring. This that's past right. spring, and it's been kind of a sleeper. There's a lot of people throwing it. Uh, it doesn't get talked about as much, but yeah. I, I know I've thrown it, and it's got a very... Like I said, it's completely a different action than, yes, than the yes, convict. Very so, unique action. Like if you're, if you're not catching my one... Try the other because it's a completely different action. That bait, you know, one of the things about the Convict is how slow you can swim it. You can go even slower with this bait. It, it just has a lazy, oh, it's got a, that, slow. See that wider that tail is completely shaped different. And like I said, I did that. I played it with a bunch of different tail designs. And this one actually kind of kills itself. It doesn't need as much to let it run straight. Mm -hmm. And you can, it's a real lazy flutter swim. It is swim. a very instead lazy of a tighter, right. Instead of a tighter kick like the Convict, it's got a lot lazier swim. So, like I said, these uh, these will stay in there and cure for a little while. Then they'll have to come out and get eyed, packaged, and everything. And I think uh, these are going to mm -hmm. go to a couple guys. That's right. Hey, who wants those swim baits? What I want you to do is comment Smash Tech Custom Baits down below. Everybody that comments Smash Tech Custom Baits in the first 24 hours of this video will be put into a drawing to win these baits. There'll be two winners. Each will get one package. One package is two baits. Yep. So each winner, two winners, two baits apiece, one package. Uh, if you comment Smash Tech Custom Baits below, we will draw your name within the first 24 hours when this video is released. And yeah. if you want to know the release time, just look in the description. It'll tell you when it was released. My man. Enjoyed it? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Y'all check him out. He's linked below. His website's linked below. Go look at his baits. Order some up. You guys have been seeing him on the channel the last couple weeks. Now you've seen kind of the, the method behind the magic back here. and He does a good job for us. We appreciate him. A lot of fun. A lot of work.
Yeah, it started out as a fun hobby and yeah. turned into a full time job. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> it grew from a couple molds and a couple little Pyrex cups to yeah. a big square, you know, big box, you know, basically. So. Yeah, very, very cool. Hey, just to cover one last step so that we got the full process. That when you go to put eyes on these, mm -hmm. how do you do that? You just glue, glue them? them? Yeah. There's different, you know, some people do the, you know, and there's some, some of my baits that I will, you know, put the eyes on and then dip them in clear and plastic. A lot of these, like these, will look better not dipped, you know, because it'll cover that hole. It covers mm -hmm. up some of your detail. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is actually take and, and glue these eyes in. Like I said, they're not going to come out. You know, if they come out, they're taking a chunk of plastic with them. So. Right, 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 right. If they come out, it's because they've been catching some hammerheads. Exactly. <laughs> and they will catch some hammerheads. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so just kind of recap the process. So plastisol. Yep, goes from raw plastisol, which is like clear, like milk. And then you heat it up. Looks like milk. When you heat it up, it turns clear. Yeah, it turns clear. Add your coloring. Add coloring. And yeah. then pour it in layers. Let it cool in layers. Yeah. Simple, right? Simple, but it's a process. <laughs> it's a process. It's a, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to do it for myself. I'm glad I have guys like you to do it. Yeah. So. Like I said, it's, it's yeah. tedious. Like I said, yeah. I messed up when I was, you know, years ago when I started playing with this. I wasted a lot of money and messed up a lot of plastic. Yeah, yeah. Learning. this And I, it, I've still got some of the old stuff that you know, that I poured back then and, and it's almost comical to look at to look at it, look at it and it see, you know, right. where it all started and as you know, like I said, as you teach yourself different ways and different ways of doing things. Like I said, you know, and then the you know, with the other ones, you know, learn how to airbrush and teach myself how to airbrush and you know some of the Oh, other, that's a whole different process. Yeah, that's there. a whole another process in itself. You know, right. like I said people wonder why those are, you know, expensive. Well, you gotta sit down and lay about eight different layers of colors mm -hmm. on a on a plastic swim bait and that plastic paint is not cheap. And when it comes to swim baits, it's totally worth it because we, we all talk, talk about this all the time with these swim baits. They follow them and they look at them for so long before yeah. they commit to them often. It is important to have all these details correct and get the color just so and get the paint job just so, get the action just right. So check them out, guys. Link below, like I said, quality baits, quality guy, my man Heath Taylor. Y'all comment below. Let us know what you thought of it. Hey, if you like this video, if this video was helpful to you, hey, give us a thumbs up on the like button there. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to the Year Lake Fort Guy channel little button right over here. And other than that, we'll see you guys next time right here on your Lake Fort Guy. What's up? Oh, shop dog. What are you doing? The old smash puppy. Old smash dog.